Protect the Shield podcast. Let's get it. So, you know, that season's over. Cable doesn't get re-signed. You're promoted to head coach. So fans like me, I'm hype. I'm like, oh, it's about to go down. It's about, mm-hmm. to, it's about to go down. So just looking at the 2011, we started off two and two. Could have been three and one. Yeah. Um, I think one of those games, you know, was, was close. Mm-hmm. McFadden was busting their butts, man. He was averaging, I think, a buck 17 yards per game in the first four games. Going into week five, away game in Houston. Devastating news. Oh, yeah. And our great Al Davis passes away before the game. So I wanted to play just a quick clip of this play. And I know you probably remember it like yesterday. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on that play, just leading up to it and, and afterwards. I'm going to play it real fast. That gives me chills still. Man, it, it gives me chills as a fan. I yeah. mean, it, but I can only imagine how you felt. Can you just kind of, I mean, most of our fans understand that play, but can you just kind of walk us through why that play was so important and just what it meant at the time? Well, to, to really walk you through it, I would have to take you back to right before we got ready to travel. I never forget, I kept hearing so many different stories that, Al wasn't doing well. You know, they were like, hey, Hugh, uh, Al's not doing well. But we always talked. We talked almost every day. So I knew I was going to talk to him before. Anytime I got ready to take the team away, I would always talk to him and give me some instruction. And so he called me and I can hear him. I can hear the breathing machine in his room. And I never forget. He said, uh, he said, Hugh, you're doing a great job. He says, keep pushing them. He says, you have a really good team. He says, we're winning in the end. That I'll never forget he said that to me. And I said, Al, I said, no doubt. And he said, hey, make sure nobody sits in my seat on the plane. <laughs> you know, that was that was Al. That was a little levity. And he's like, I'm in here fighting and things are going to be great. So I never forget because we, we travel across country, we go a day early. So we got to Houston. You know, we left on a Friday, got there Friday evening. And here we are. And like you said, the news, Mark came to my room and told me I had to tell the team that that morning what was going on. And here's this game. And like I told the guys before we went out, the one thing he would want us to do is go win this game. That's just who Al was. You know, everybody would play it. Look, we're the Raiders, baby. Let's go win the game. Wow. But what will always stick with me is that part. He says you win it in the end. Mm. So as that play was going on, I was told, Hugh will only have 10 guys on the field. Now, I could have took a timeout mm. and said, hold up, but the ball was about to be snapped, and I go, let's play it. And something said to me, play it. Just mm. let it play out. We got 10 guys on the field, but really we had 11 because I was there. There's no question in my mind. I think we all could feel that. And for that interception to happen and for us to win that game, it validated that for me. God is good. Al was there. We won that game, and it was just, I'll never forget it. Ever. Wow. 